welcome back to the UK. So we're here for four weeks. We've got a couple of big hitters to tick off while we're back. Back in sunny old Rotherham. The fortunate thing about Rotherham is we've got some big, big influential names in the industry who train at our same gym. So we've got AJ Morris in today. Doesn't need an introduction. We're going to hit a push session. We're following his session. So I'm excited to get into that. And we've got another guest who will be joining the channel later on. We're going to crack on into session now. You done white raises. Yeah, but never sat, that never like laid Lying down. down. Like yeah. yeah, I just find it's easier because often we can't even find a bench or I forget the height. Yeah. So I just set it at, like so it finishes at wrist height yeah. and then lie on the floor. Pull it. Yeah. Squeeze 12. Yeah, good. There's one. Yeah. Up. Two more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck it. What's your rationale behind doing them like that rather than? So, a lying cuff raise, I define as coming just out rather than coming back up here. So, obviously with a Y raise, it's typically like, it's a Y shape. So the reason behind that is I want to encompass a little bit of upper trap, almost a little bit of rear delt as well. I want it to be almost like a little bit more of a full shoulder movement. Yeah. Um, that acts as one, a little bit of work for those areas, but two, it prepares me a little bit better for the press. Because I get a lot of, and what you've got also, a little bit of like upper trap issues yeah. from being heavier and from pressing heavy. Yeah. So I find when I do this first and touch wood, I get very minimal issues over my pressing and it doesn't really take away from it. Yeah. So that's it, nice. No pause in the stretch. Love. Good. Come on. Yeah, there's two there. There's two there. Come on, and again, and again. Come on, come on. Away, 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 away. Yeah, five down negative. Encompassing a little bit more overall yeah. shoulder. Great, it's a great exercise for shoulder health. Yeah. Like you can sit here all day and you can do like warm up like this and with no weight, or you could just get straight cracking into yeah. this and it probably preempts your pressing a yeah, bit better. Yeah, 100%. Try. Yeah. Again, okay, give me one. Yeah. Don't touch him. Yeah. One more. Oh, yes, yeah. man. We'll take another. Come on, load it up, load it up, load it up. I'm here. Let's drive out, drive out, drive out. Stick with, stick with, stick with. Slow, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Hey. You're preventing any any like movement, aren't you? Really, like as you're standing, you can the knees can get involved, the hips. Whereas there's nothing there, it's like you are literally cemented on the floor. That's what I've just noticed there in terms of like the feel. Everything's there and like more on the floor. Yeah, 100%. I, I, think, I think lying on the floor is probably the best option for most people. Yeah. It's a nice stable base. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me take the eccentric. Take me up again. Yeah. Yeah. All the way, all the way. More, 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 more. Yep, mine. Uh, <laughs> 40 reps, not bad. How many reps for that? Uh, 20-ish, I think. Just keep going. Yeah. Just keep going until... The fail. The best, the best thing is to don't rest it at the bottom. Yeah, just, just, I'm counting yeah. like two second eccentric. Yeah, just yeah. keep going until yeah. you can't get any more. And then I'll take you up for a few of your own eccentrics. And then a few partials at the end. And then a few partials, that's it. Yeah. And then you're, that's it, smoke. Oh. Load it up slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Out. 
Come on. Give me five. Four. Three. Come on. Give me three. Two. One. One more. Three. Two. One. Partials. Come on. Three. Four. And one. Yes. Oh, wow. They were dead on the, on the final ones. Yeah. That like sick, sick feeling you get on like high rep leg extensions. Yeah. If you can it's create that on your adults there. as well, I think that's a, a good goal to achieve with this. Beautiful. Just do one, one, one slow rep. Do one really slow rep coming down. That's it. I'm just looking for your range more than anything else. But I'd say on your on your heavy sets. Definitely probably just stop maybe like an inch above your chest. Just because for you, your shoulder joint is limiting you yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Because your elbow path starting to travel yeah. back in like when yeah, you touch your yeah, chest. Yeah. So you're just coming out of that so safe no position. Need, yeah, yeah. Okay. This your working set too or I'll warm feeler. up. This will be probably the last warm up. Yeah. Easy, Ben. Lovely. How many reps? Anything above four will be decent with this at the moment. Easy, yep. Ooh. Yep, come on. Ooh. Yes, there we've got three. Come on. Ooh. I'll be with you, but I'm not touching the bar yet. Yep, all you, all you, all you. Come on, get another. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Drive, drive, yeah. drive. Come on, all you, all you, yeah. all you. Come on, drive, drive, drive. Yep, yeah, that's all yours. Come on. Up. Yeah, Ooh, good, yes. solid. I'm with you. One Come more. On, give me one. Yeah. Come on now. Oh. Drive, drive, drive. All you. Come on. That's All you. On. Work for it. Come on. Yes. There you go. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And again. Oh. That's it. That's it. Good, 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 good. Oh. Right. good. Yeah. Ah. That was tough. Oh. Oh. I've got fucking cramp in my calf. Do you know from pushing on the floor? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go, come on. That's free, yep. All you, come on. I'm there, but I'm not gonna touch, yep. Drive, 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 drive. yep. Now we work, come on. I'm here, I'm here, yep. Drive, all you, come on. Yep, all you. Up, take one more. Drive, yep, come on, come on. Finish this, finish this, yep. And again, there you go, yep. Yes, yeah, my boy. I got there. Big emphasis on the, the eccentric here, isn't there? Yeah, trying to grab hold of that as much yeah. as you can. A pause in the hole. Yeah, otherwise it will just bury you in that position. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Lovely, Ben. Come on. Yeah. Oh. All day, come on. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Ah. Nice. Very good. Oh. Strong. Really, really good. That's a heavy machine, that. Yeah, it gets heavy super yeah. quick as well. Good. Big power. <clears throat> One more. Come on, Ango. Hey. You're central. We're typically following AJ's style of training, so one working, lower volume, higher load, one back offset, lower the load 20% or so, and then higher volume. But usually, I have a little bit more volume in my sessions, but given the intensity has probably increased 15% because I'm training with AJ, I feel like the level of volume is still the same, the pump's still the same, the intensity is just simply increased. That's always a factor for consideration when programming for coaches and understanding what to target in terms of volume for your client, what level are they at, and what's their standard of their intensity of training. Yeah, I mean, you're going to struggle at this point because we've already done like three, three exercises. Um, but the main thing is just making sure that when you're coming into the stretch, it's like not quite controlled and slow. Obviously, powerful concentrics, yeah. but coming into this position nice and slow. So you figure out where your range is because if you come in too quick, you'll Lost jam it. that yeah, shoulder yeah, yeah, joint yeah. up real high. Yeah. And then you'll be coming out of this like really yeah. awkward elevated position. Yep. Yep. Drive, 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 drive. Yep. Yep. You've done a stack on that, fair play. That is heavy. It's taken a lot of time to get there, to be honest. I, I'm, the only pressing exercise that I'm comparably good at to other people is dips. Everything yeah. else is, but well, my, my normal free weight pressing is just meh. You, you, you are good on shoulders though now. Like, it's come yeah. up, and it? It's come up, definitely it's come up, but it's not, it's not comparable to my pulls and my legs, and it, and it shows- Why do you think me. that is? I just have much muscle there. You know? mm. like muscle, muscle moves weight. You yeah. know? So uh, without me leveraging weight with really bad form, I'm not going to be strong and push until I yeah. build more muscle. You yeah. know? So I've just got yeah. to build more muscle there. Good then. Stay with yeah. That's it. Hey. Lovely. Come on. Yes. That's the one. <clears throat> Oh. 
up the elbows a little bit more. Just bring them just a little yep. bit there. That's it, then just yep. step there. That's it. Then go. Good. Nice big pause there. Tight up to bite it. Just a straight line. There you go. That's it. Pause. That's it. Straight line and contract. <clears throat> yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. One Take more. Another. Take another. Big pause, big pause, big pause. Just stay with it. Oh yeah, all you, all you, all you, all you. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well. Very good in the length, but it went bicep straight across. Yeah. Fully short, contractions. Yeah. Just for people watching, like in terms of like the different variation of what, obviously you've just said a fly, people usually, Initiate thinking it's really wide, but you've just said straight away elbows more inwards. Yeah. When we look at the pack and the way that we recruit it, it makes sense to have our arm path a little bit closer because right out here, even if you, I often describe to clients like the best way to do it is obviously to get into a, a fly and, and feel what you like, test what you feel. So even when I'm here, I, I can feel more tension in my pack with this arm path than I can feel here. Like I feel like there's my upper pec isn't really being recruited in this position here. And when I'm coming across the body like that, here to here, I'm getting more leverage of the pec, which is the goal of the exercise. So I think a lot of people that get like shoulder pain and issues with flies are simply just coming a little wide and tucking that arm in, gaining a bit more leverage of the pecs. Should work for most people. Now, if, if they try it and they're like, I get less pec, Often, the case is you're working with a person with a very, very wide diameter. Yeah. So like very thick guys, and it's wide. When you, when you look at IFBB pros, especially men's physique guys, are super wide, yeah, they're... and they're flying like this, that might actually work for them, and their rib cage, and their setup, and their like, mechanics. Yeah, yeah. But for a smaller individual like myself, I know for a fact I'm, I'm not gonna be out here with pecs. It's gonna be more like here. So again, it depends how much muscle you have, and your own mechanics, but most people are a bit narrower. If they want a visual reference, like obviously Carl and Ben at the start were a little wider, but like I used to do all of my flies like out here. And like, I'm not, I'm not feeling a lot of pec there already. Whereas here, chest lifted, I've already got a stretch on my pecs before I've even started. And I'm just driving my biceps together. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Two, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you, oh, you. Take one more. Oh, one. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, 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 yep. Of course, yep. Good. Now control. Yeah, yep. oh. It's a movement you can't hit every rep with complete. It's a hard movement to nail every rep in it with complete accuracy. It takes, yeah, it takes a certain amount of practice. Like yours are very accurate. Then I was looking at my, my. Some my hands are closer, and I was looking at. It's a hard movement, yeah, that. especially when it's the first time you're trying this, yeah. this new arm part. Yeah. But, you know, this for me is from obviously trying to learn more, but it's also from feel. Yeah. Like before I saw that you should keep your arm close, I tried it and I figured out that it was better for me. And everyone started posting that nap, like arm pass like this makes more sense. And I was like, ah. There we go. You know, that, that's what I've been doing for a year and my pecs have come up so much more, my shoulders don't hurt anymore. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. A lot of things you, you try in the gym, and if they feel good and they, they hurt less, yeah. will get proven by research at some point to be the best yeah. way of doing it. Little update on the off season as well. We're 10 weeks in, 91.3 on the scales as of this morning. Um, up from 78, so a lot of new tissue, a lot of extra body fat, but not too much, but compared to what you used to see in me. Uh, we're gonna give you a physique update today, so you can let me know in the comments what you're thinking. But the fullness is there, um, and I'm starting to feel like I'm somewhat a men's physique athlete again. I'm pulled into this position in a lunge. Yeah. You wanna pull your elbows out slightly. Out slightly, yeah. yeah. Out slightly, don't tuck them in all the way. chest a little high, again just to get stable. Lean into it a little bit so you're not pulled back. Yep. <clears throat> Two.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love him. <laughs> Good. No. Yeah. No. So if anyone watching that like is quite into their mechanics and things like that, you might wonder why we're doing a tricep exercise that loads the lengthened and drops off in the shore first, because it doesn't really make sense if we were doing two. So we have actually done two, if you think about it, because we've done a dip, which I would determine as a tricep exercise that was pretty hard to get short. So our triceps are already pretty mashed by this point. Um, so doing an exercise like this where I'm, I want a lot of load in the lengthened, kind of makes sense at this point in the session for the way that this one is structured. But if you, if you're structuring a session without a tricep compound, then you probably want like a push down first in a session like this. There, good, good, good. Holding the stretch when you can. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, that makes a difference in partials. Yeah, just, just they just, just completely. Take yeah, that weren't pretty. When the muscles already failed and in a failed state, rather than taking it into a fully shortened position, if you can't get it fully short to recruit more fibres, little partials don't hurt in movements like this. Yeah, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Five shorts, load it, load it, load it. Yes. Oh, yeah, that, that is good. Four, yeah, come on. Two more like that. Five, yep. Now there's one more. Yep. Squeeze. Yep, I'm with you. Yep, yep, yep. yep. One. Yep. Feel the burn now, yep. I'm with you. Two. Yep, come on. Three. Yep, come on. Oh, one more. Take one. Take one. Take one with me, yep. Up. Oh. Yeah, good. Solid job, all. Yep. Hey. Yes. That's the control. Come on. Oh, and again. Hey. Yes, good. Oh, no. All right, straight in. One. Yes. Uh. Hold. Yes. Three. Uh. Yes. Come on. Four. Uh. And again. Hey. Ah. Yep. Three more. One. <laughs> yep. Go again. Two. Yep. Yeah, Ooh. it's good. Ooh. I'll be with you. Yep. Ooh. Yep. All you. All Ooh. you. All you. Go again. Go again. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Oh. Yep. And again. Ooh. Yep. Oh. Minimum five again, yep. That's two, keep them like this, yep, come on. Oh, three, yep, there you go. Drive, four, yeah, take one more, minimum. Drive, five, there you go, yep. Yep, I'm with you. Yep, 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 oh, you, yeah. Oh, shit. I don't look pretty that. Oh, that's horrible. I think um, something that I actually have to hold myself accountable sometimes is like, Sessions like these where we can't auto regulate a little bit. Yeah. And we go in, go into an exercise. And I haven't really done this in this order in a long time. So I've just gone in with the maximum intent on, right, take my delta to failure with great feel. So I've not attached myself to any number. I've just, okay, hit and go. But when I log book, sometimes my intent is on the number. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. The intent yeah. is like, right, I've got to go that this week. Whereas that this week might be shit. Yeah. You know, it might actually be a regression. You know, so. Yeah. I think that's the thing. It's like, you can only get so far with like total intuitive training. Yeah. But a lot of what builds great training is intuitively taking a muscle to failure with good feel. And that's and exactly. And then if you transfer that to like a little bit of log booking, at least maybe in your head. Yeah. You're getting stronger and progressing somehow. Yeah. That's how I'm following. Like, I know my numbers, especially on the You're bigger lifts. Unbelievably with, obsessed yeah, with them. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Ben. <clears throat> Make the most time. <clears throat> yes, come on. Lovely. <clears throat> yes, quality. 
The angle I'm at the minute is it's do I hit that sap shot or I think I look bigger from that shot. Yeah. The main indicator will be like when you're all the way in. Yeah, at the minute. I'll pretty much be it. And then it's just a case of the back needs to add density, but it's coming now. If you hold a lot more body fat on your back, don't you? Yeah. So like the density is gonna be covered at the moment. That's definitely the thickest your back has yeah, looked. Hundred percent. I mean, there's a few poses I like. I do like. I think I'll hold that one on stage. Mm -hmm. But then it's also I do like that one, but my chest goes a little bit. Okay. The delts look a bit too more pop. So then I think that one. But then there's also. Yeah, I think I think you lose maybe a bit too much yeah. through the arm because you yeah, get more like yeah, you get more arm and delt out of that. Just this upper line now vanishing a little bit. Yeah. The body fat comes. The chest doesn't look as good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so big. That's you the. Bring that back. That's the big thing is like, you know, the body fat just covers everything that you're, you can tell how much thicker you are. You can tell you're gonna be a lot yeah. bigger when you come down, but a lot of the, the actual muscle tissue is just, yeah, it's just it's covered like in a bit of fluid, the body fat. The chest is looking a little bit flatter and I'm thinking, well, it's not going anywhere, it's just the body fat. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Because the back's looking denser and denser and denser as yeah, the weeks go totally along. Yeah. yeah, your back's a lot oh, thicker than what yeah. it yeah. yeah. I think the thing is, you know, after this push, you're gonna have to get peeled anyway to yeah. set up another push. Yeah. So you may as well come down all the way, get it on stage, and then you'll grow better in that, in that setup, yeah. rather than just saying, oh, okay, I'm gonna take, you know, a year out, a whole year, like till next year. Yeah. You'll just be soft for way too long. Yeah. So that's a wrap for today's session and hope you took a lot of value away. As always, we brought AJ on twice now um, to add significant value and you can take away the warm-up sets, the feeler sets. Look at his eyes before he goes into a set. You put a post on the other day that I took a lot of value away and I think it was on the topic of looking at clients' eyes going into a set and it's something like, are you fully focused on your set? And you can see with every set AJ goes into, he's fully focused. I think if you apply that to your own training, the levels that's going to bring significantly and what that's going to warrant in terms of physique development will be significant as well. So thank you for attending pleasure. as always, mate. Oh, pleasure. It's so nice to train with you again, mate, and uh, it's nice to see you back on home soil. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get into more again. And, you know, like Ben said, you know, I think some of the things you can take away from the session is the intensity, but, you know, also the intensity that this guy brings on a, on a, on a daily basis, you know, um, and equally how that it's not just at the start of the session when we're getting going. It's like everything up to the up to the end. You know, none of us on our phones today. Just full focus, getting after it. And to be fair, it was for a three people session. It was very very time yeah. efficient as well. So you can train hard, you can train heavy, and you don't have to spend you know two three hours in the gym. You just get in, get after it. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Pleasure.